Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get this really cool wallpaper tear effect that works with any wallpaper on your iPhones. It works all the way from iPhone 7s all the way up to the 12 Pro Max. It's a really, really cool effect that actually eliminates the dock on the bottom of your phone without a jailbreak or anything like that, just with this really cool wallpaper. Now, there's a couple things you guys have to do preemptively before we get started with this tutorial. So you just want to go over to your settings. And you just want to ensure that you have a couple settings this way. So we're just going to scroll down first off to display and brightness. And just confirm that you're in dark mode, just like I am here. The next thing you guys want to do is back out of here, go over to wallpaper, and just make sure you, your dark appearance dims wallpaper is turned off. So just like I have here, just make sure it's disabled. The next thing you're going to make sure as well is scroll all the way down to shortcuts and make sure you have allow untrusted shortcuts on or else this will not work. The next thing you guys can do is just go over to the description as well as in the comment section down below. I'll have a link over to the Reddit post that has this effect on it. Once you click that, you'll be brought to this screen right here on Reddit. Now, once you're on here, you just want to scroll down on here and then you will see all the devices supported. So everything up from the iPhone 7 all the way up to the 12 Pro Max. And then we just have to click on this iCloud link that's right here. And he just tells you right here as well that you need to have dark mode enabled to hide the dock. Make sure the image is saved to your recents in your photo library and having everything ready to go. So as long as you have your photo ready that you want to use for your wallpaper, we are good to go. You can just click on the iCloud link that's right here. And then you'll be brought over to this right here. All we're going to have to do is click on Get Shortcut. Then it will bring us to our Shortcuts application. Once we're in Shortcuts and this pops up here asking us to add the shortcut, we just want to scroll all the way down to the bottom of this line of code. And then you will see an option to Add Untrusted Shortcut. So we're just going to click on Add Untrusted Shortcut. And then it will say it's added to your shortcuts. Next, all we have to do is go over to My Shortcuts in the bottom left corner. Click on that and then we'll see the overlay paper tail right here. Now you just have to click on it to start it. And then it's going to ask us what phone we have. So you just click on whatever phone you have. So in my case, it's the 12 Pro Max. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to ask us for access to our photos. We're going to click OK. And then we're going to, have to choose the wallpaper that we want to use for this. So I'm just going to go to my albums, to my wallpapers, and click on this wallpaper I'm using right now. And then it's going to tell us that we it would like access to notifications. So whenever we run this shortcut, it'll be able to access notifications. Just click on OK. And once we have done doing that, we can head over to our photos and we will then see a new wallpaper in our recents folder on our photos, which is right here. So we can go ahead and click on that. And as you guys see, it has this really cool tear effect at the bottom of the wallpaper. All we have to do to add this is click on the share button and scroll down and click on use as wallpaper. Now, uh, if you guys just leave it right like this, you guys will notice that the tear is kind of cut off here at the bottom. You could try setting it for you, but I'll show you guys what I mean. So if I were to set it just like this and set as home screen, you guys will then see it kind of isn't cutting off properly. So if you guys are having this issue as well, all you have to do is go back to photos, click on the share option again, scroll down and click on use as wallpaper. But this time you want to turn off perspective zoom and then just pinch to zoom out just like this and let go. And then we will see it brings a lot of the tear effect up. You guys can try it without doing this. Most of you will probably be okay. But if you guys have different phones, you guys might have to do this last little tip and trick to fix it perfectly. But once we've done that, we can just click on set again and set as home screen exit out just like this and we will notice that the tear effect works perfectly and it hides our dock as well which is really really cool uh, anyhow i really hope this video helped you guys out with showing you guys how to get this really cool wallpaper tear effect that works with any wallpaper on your iphones without a jailbreak if this video does help you guys out be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more thanks for watching